Okay, so we're going to have a look here how we make a, a gem stone so that we can edit um, the different parts of it and give it that kind of edgy uh, gemstone look where the light's falling off the edges of each of the sides. So we're going to grab, first of all, the ellipse tool and just draw out a circle. Okay, and then we'll give that a fill of red. Okay, and we'll leave the border here, or the stroke. Just bring the stroke panel up. Okay, just give it a slightly thicker stroke so we can see what's going on. So now what I want to do is um, kind of divide this off so that we can add a gradient into each section of this um, shape. So the way that we're going to do that is grab the rectangle tool, okay, and then just draw out a square. Okay, we'll position that so that it snaps to the center of the circle, which I think it's done. We'll just double check that with the align tools here. So we'll align it to the center. Okay, and then what we can do now that we've got that square is if we copy that, okay, and then go to um, edit, um, paste in place, it's going to paste that directly in front. Okay, so if I bring this up now, okay, and then grab these two corners here, then I want to try and get this at a 45 degree angle. So that's going to be the the tricky bit, but maybe that's right where it intersects with the circle at the edge there. So if I hold down shift, it's going to do it to there and there. We'll see if that's right in a sec. And then we'll paste that in place again. So edit, uh, paste in place. Okay, and then we can just grab these two corners and bring them out. Okay, and actually, it feels like these need to come a little bit further out. Okay. So, we've got those, and now do the same across here, so another paste in place, put it up to there, oops, grab the wrong one, okay, pull that down there until it snaps, okay, and just pull this out a little further, okay, and then we'll do the same with this, paste in place, grab this one and this one. Okay, So now we've got basically these five shapes overlapping the, the circle. So what I'm going to do is just come back here and drop the, the stroke back down to 0 0.05, so it's kind of a slightly thinner stroke, so that's for all of those. And then in the Pathfinder tool, so we'll come to Window, Pathfinder, we can use this option here, okay, which if we hover over it should show up, it's not going to. So this is the, uh, it's going to basically split these all into individual shapes. So when I click on that, now what I have here is a group, but I'm going to ungroup that, and now I can delete those, okay, and these are now individual shapes okay so we can uh, jump in grab the gradient tool okay and then go ahead and edit this okay so we've got that nice gradient to it so let's just mix the the color here a bit better okay change the angle of this okay and then with the other ones here we can probably just select all those and pick the the color of that one to give the the gradient in there and then just tweak the angle of these so that it will kind of match what it is we're looking for okay so we can play around with that uh, maybe tweak some of the colors in here so some of these are a bit uh, brighter or kind of have a different um, tint to them. Okay, and 
then you should be able to create this kind of nice gemstone. But the key is when you're making those shapes in order to get that effect is to use this tool to split them up. 